Okay, so let's get this Q&A video started. Now this is much better. That video was horrible, right? What do you think I used to shoot it with? I will leave that with you to guess. In any case, let's get on with this Q&A video. It is, well, me kind of cheating in a way because I'm pulling a portion of a video review that I just did on the Asus Tor AS100 2T network attached storage device about installation of a drive or drives and the setup of it. Yeah. I know. However, in this Q&A video, I do show you how to initialize it using the AI Master app that I do it on my smartphone. And I didn't show you how to do that in the video review. Okay, I'm not going to get to the Q&A video just yet. And maybe if you've already watched the video review on that product, you're saying, I don't wanna, why should I watch this? Well, hold on a second here. You remember in the last Q&A video, I showed you pictures of me in caves, and in one particular cave, Fat Man's Misery. You get into this thing, you're overweight, you're not getting out. Even if you, you probably won't be able to get in. One of those things where you go, I don't know if I should do this. And you go, what the hell? You know, and you do, and it was like, wow, that was good, awesome. You feel like you conquered something. Well, uh, I'll show you a picture in just a minute. It's kind of like that, but a little bit weirder. So there was this uh, kids park and Shrek was in it. And Shrek was big, you know, Shrek's a big guy, right? So there's this wooden structure, looked kind of awesome. So, you know, I had to play it up a little bit. There's a place to sit, you know, in front of Shrek on his lap kind of thing. And then you can kind of go around him at the back and pose as well. So here we go. Here's me posing with Shrek. And with that, let's get on with the Q&A video. Now I'll get to the drive installation and set up in just a moment, but first a little bit of an intro to the AS102T NAS. Now this is an elegant and compact network tax storage device and unique in the fact that it doesn't have any external hot swappable drive bays at the front. That's what you would normally see in a NAS, but they've really gone for a modern flair here, maybe form over function, still very functional of course because you can install drives on the inside which I'll show you in just a minute, but you can really fit this into really any environment, whether it be your family room, living room, or even office. Now installing one or two drives in this is easy. First you'll need to remove the cover and to do that, take off the two back thumb screws, slide it back, and it comes right off. Next, carefully slide the drives in and then use the included thumb screws to secure them. And finally, replace the cover and replace the thumb screws at the back so it's nice and secure. Now this is really easy to set up with the hard drives installed and the NAS powered up, launch the control center, update it if required, and it will find the NAS on your network. The status will show uninitialized. Click on that button and it will open the default web browser to the network address of the NAS and start the initialization process. It will then download the ADM file, partition format the drive, unpack the firmware, and update the system. Them. Give the NAS a server name and password. It will then finalize the process and finally register the unit. Note that you can also set up this NAS with your smartphone using the mobile app AI Master. And let's begin. With the hard drives installed and the NAS powered up, install the Asus Tor AI Master app. Launch it, click on the plus symbol at the top right, then click on auto discovery. It will find the NAS and once found, select it and click on start initialization. Click OK. And now, either select one click setup or custom. Custom will give you options like selecting the rate setup and whatnot, enter the password, and by the way, the default password is SE with five zeros. Now choose the best options for your storage requirements. And finally, select start initialization and click OK. It will take a few minutes to initialize and then enter the operating system. Well, that's it. But if you have any further questions about the installation and setup of this NAS, please let me know and I will try to respond as quickly as possible. And as always, I love to hear from you guys. You can comment to your heart's content. By the way, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and I hope you enjoyed this Q&A video. Remember, if you like it, thumb it up and subscribe to the channel.